Hello guys, let's create this repulsive hero section using React Js and Tailwind CSS. Create a new folder, then open it in the versus code. Open the terminal. Create React app with Vite by running this command. Select React and JavaScript. Now the app is ready. Start the app. Let's install and set up Tailwind CSS. Install Tailwinds and its peer dependencies. Then generate your tailwind.config.js file. Add the pads to all of your template files in your Tailwind config file. Add the at Tailwind directives for each of Tailwind's layers to your index.cs file. Now let's see if everything working. Everything is working. Create components folder. Inside the folder, create navbar and hero. To use these snippets, install this extension. Import the components in the app js file. Now let's set up the first component, the navbar. Let's create a div. Inside the div, we will have two elements, a h1 element that displays the title of our website and another div element that contains the rest of the navbar items. Host, we start with a flex container, setting the stage for a responsive layout. The justify between and items center classes ensure that our content is evenly spaced and centered vertically. The text to XC and font bold classes give it a clean and impactful look. To top it off, we've got a sleek contact, add some padding, borders, and rounded corners. It's inviting and encourages user interaction. For larger screens, we have a list of items at the hidden end, flex and space X classes. This ensures they're hidden on small screens, but displayed on medium and larger screens. Let's start by setting up the hero structure. I've got a container div. Inside it, we have two main sections, one for text content and another for an image. We will use flex layout to organize our content. Or the left section. I'm using the end width one of three class to take up one third of the width on medium and larger screens. This ensures a balanced layout. The heading, give it a purple color and a bold font. The text 4XC and M text 6XC classes ensure it scales nicely. Make the text small and light gray. 
Now, let's add those engaging buttons. Start now, give it a purple background, white text, and rounded corners. The Learn More button has a subtle design with an arrow emoji and a distinct background. Enhancing user experience with a search bar. The input field and button have a cohesive design with rounded corners and a consistent purple color scheme. And there you have it. If you're enjoying this walkthrough, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more web design tutorials. Thanks for joining me on this coding adventure. See you in the next video. Stay tuned. Happy coding.